Good morning, Culture Buzz. We're here in Warehouse 2 at Jaffa Port with the weekend, Indian weekend we have here for four days. And we're just before the performance of Idan Cohen, Holy, which uh, is going to be now outside. And I would like to ask Idan. Good morning, Idan. Good morning. Could you please tell us how it all started? this co-production with India. Yeah, this, I think this is a very special and uh, outstanding uh, co-production for me as a choreographer. And it started in quite an esoteric uh, way. I was performing with my company in a festival in Poland, and one of the um, uh, members of the audience was uh, Sudarshan, who is the artistic director of Sapphire Creations in Kolkata. And he um, enjoyed the piece that we have presented and he invited us to tour the piece in India, which of course was quite amazing for us because we're not used to, to touring in this part of the world. Usually we tour in Europe or in the United States. And it was such an amazing experience and the um, connection with the Indian pub public and with Sapphire Creations in Kolkata was so special for us. And we started forming this collaboration so that two years after that tour um, I came to India with two of my company's members to create this collaboration that involved two dancers from my company, two dancers from Sapphire Creations in India and two musicians. We were there for six weeks in Kolkata studying and creating and researching before we uh, started an India tour to Bangalore and to Delhi. So that was the beginning of, of this whole production. That's interesting. Could, could you tell us how the dancers, uh, what was the uh, connection between the dancers? Was there anything special in this production between the Indian and yeah. the Well, I think it was very special. First of all, we lived there. I mean, we were in Kolkata for six weeks and um, we worked with the dancers daily in the studio and the styles of movement are so different from each other. The dancers of Sapphire Creations, their um, background in dance is traditional classical um, Indian forms. One of the dancers is trained in Odyssey and the other in Kathak. And my dancers are contemporary dancers that comes from very different cultural and traditional background. And the connection of how both groups learned from each other and were inspired by each other was very strong. Another uh, significant aspect of this collaboration for me was that it was really important for me that both myself and the dancers that came with me will try and understand some of the, let's say, more personal artistic approach of the dancers from Sapphire. So we were very, very inspired by this whole being there. It sounds amazing. It yeah, really sounds it's really amazing. quite special. And from the dancers, let's go to the, uh, to the public that you were performing in front of. Yeah. Well, you have already had here two performances, in, right. in Kalkuta you had already three, I think? Or? We, had, we had four performances all through, like in that tour. We had two performances in Kolkata, and one in Delhi, and one in Bangalore. And did you feel any difference the way um, the audience felt there and here? Could you tell us something about this? It's, it's ve it was very different, even though I think that the interesting thing that we did here is that we took Holly away from the stage into a more site-specific venue that goes here um, with the art exhibition and with everything that happens in uh, Warehouse 2 this weekend. Because a part of our experience in India was that the, 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 the public is much more engaged with the work than it is in Tel Aviv, so to say. So people allow themselves to, to um, speak, sometimes eat, sometimes go out and go back in and discuss the piece while they watch it. And we found that connection very, very special and very engaging in that sense. And we tried to create that platform also here when people can enjoy the artwork and 
maybe have a beer while they watch the show and the show um, goes from one stage to the other in one part of this huge warehouse to another and the audience kind of follows and is more engaged with everything that happens. This really sounds fascinating and yes. um, we're, ha we're really happy that this we're able to do this in Warehouse 2. The Israel Choreographer Association is trying really to do its utmost to bring here interesting artistic, artistic um, performances and uh, to have here something a little bit different and not only yeah. uh, dance in front and on stage and in front of the audience. Um, could you, do you want to tell us anything else before we finish this? Well, I can just say that this, I think that it's a, a great uh, opportunity to create something that is more, that, that is more multidisciplinary and that is not just a dance, a dance piece and uh, to thank the Bistritsky Foundation for supporting us both in going to India and in bringing the dancers here and of course the Choreographers Association and the uh, um, the Ministry of, Ministry, yeah, Ministry of, Foreign, of Foreign Affairs and Culture and the Indian Embassy and everyone that were involved in helping us create this great thing. Thank you very much, Idan. Very interesting. So and uh, good luck today with Thank the performance. You. Thank you. Thank you.